Hi everyone, welcome back to Fubs' YouTube channel. Uh, today I've got a nice little replay for you of the ISU 152. Um, this was the first game I played in 9.14, so at the time it was completely mod free, I had no idea of wind chance, uh, anything like that. What I had noticed at the start is they had a hell of a lot more heavies than us, um, so I didn't want to go on this side. Don't really want to get caught up on the hill because this tank destroyer is not something that's got a lot of armour. Um, so I don't want to get into a short range battle, the longer the better. Now as you can see there, the VK bounces the first shot and this tank does have very good penetration on its rounds. So obviously just hit a, a strong point on the uh, VK there. But I'm just going to bide my time, not going to do anything silly, not going to rush. Just going to sit there and wait to see if any more tanks cross, and sure enough, we get an IS-3. So we put one into him, and we roll for just under 800 hit points. Um, this is a good thing about the ISU-152, is if you want to pad your stats, um, get yourself one of these. You only need to bring in about 3 hits, I think it is, and you come out with a blue WN-8. Um, so a nice, easy tank to, to pad your stats with if you want. Um, Again, just sitting here now, waiting for targets to present themselves at the moment. As you can see, the battle's going okay up on the hill, um, and on this side as well. So if we can hold on this side, we should do okay. Put one into the IS-3 there for just over 700, a slightly low roll. The average on this, I think, is 750. Um, and now I'm just concerned about the 416. Don't want him really coming around and putting pressure on that VK because then that means I'm going to be exposed to my right hand side so just in the back of my mind now we need to be careful with that one T3485 gets caught out in the open and again we managed to put one into him 703 um, again slightly low roll but we don't mind we'll take it all day as you can see now we've done 2211 damage and although my mods that I've installed since playing this game do show WN8, it's not showing at the moment. Um, so we just have to wait and see at the end what we come out with. Again now, just looking at that 416, waiting from the poke, seeing poke there. Didn't quite far because I wasn't sure if he was, uh, was going to be there or not. But then he poked again and we managed to put one in there. Also setting him on fire but he's got an automatic fire extinguisher turns it off after one one tick um, also guys with the um, with a patch 9.14 <coughs> pardon me and I also had a Windows update I did lose all my audio settings um, so feel free to let me know in the comments below whether or not the uh, the game sound or the mic sounds too high too low or whatever uh, the VK as you can see there comes around the corner and this time we hit his lower plate securing the kill on him and again just reloading this is not a uh, a fast firing tank but then you know you can't have sev average 750 alpha and good rate of fire as well you'd just be stupid be like a Waffentrager or a V100 on steroids so we're just waiting now for uh, for a target to present itself again as I say you got to be very careful with these uh, with these tanks, you don't want to be going around the corner because it doesn't have a turret. Um, if you get tracked on your way around the corner, you're in a whole heap of trouble. If they can keep you perma tracked, um, you know it's it's going to be very very difficult for you to to get yourself out of that kind of a situation. Our VK here now he's on very low hit points. He's a one hit, uh, one shot rather. So we're just making sure we. We give him as much cover as we can without overexposing ourselves. Um, he manages to bounce a shot there. And as you can see now, this is not looking as strong as it was, but hopefully still okay. We've got three versus one there. We've got two versus two here. Um, so you'd, you'd kind of hope that we'll still win that one. The IS-3 there, just aiming for his weak spot on top of his turret. That little flat plate. And we managed to take him out. So there's obviously now only the object 416 on that side. Unfortunately, the 
416 manages to take out our VK. And the last time we, we spotted him, he was over here. We didn't actually spot him as he killed the VK. But we're loaded. And again, we've just really got to defend this flank. Um, I don't know what this T-150 is doing. I feel like perhaps he's making a bit of a misplay. Maybe he could be coming down here, making sure we don't get flanked or joining in with these guys to push that line. Um, but there you go. So we're just waiting at the moment. We don't have to wait too long. The object 416 does show itself. And as he comes around the corner, we manage to finish him off. And that takes us up so far into 3,996 damage. Three kills. And as I say, at the time, I didn't have any mods installed. So I'd got no idea how I was doing with the, uh, the TD-15 mission. Which I believe is 4,000 damage and two kills. Um, so I knew I'd got the kills, wasn't quite sure about the damage, um, so I was quite keen to try and secure as much damage as I possibly could. We take out the T-32 there, which obviously now puts us up well above the 4,000 uh, damage that we needed. And at the moment, we're still full hit points. We've managed to block and ricochet a shot, um, so we're full hit points just damage tracks which means we can be a little bit more aggressive uh, a little bit more throwing caution to the wind than perhaps we need to we've still got the first aid kit we've still got the um, repair kit and the automatic fire extinguisher so as I'm coming down here I'm thinking ah what the hell may as well just charge straight in on the Borsig um, a little bit of a spoiler though I do make a complete hash of this um, I won't tell you whether I win or whether I lose, but I do make a hash of it. So I'll come around too wide there, let him get too much of a look into me. He tracks me, I try to aim in, he backs up before I'm aimed in. So obviously now by the time I push around here, he's, he's going to be ready again. And I was quite fortunate, he got a bit of a lower roll that time. Um, left me on 26 hit points, and that allows me to finish him off. But there you go, guys. So onto the post game screen then, and as you can see, it was an ace tanker. Uh, we also picked up the high caliber. It was just over 8,000 WN8 this game. Um, 4,471 damage, 69 assisted, with 1, 2, 3, 4, to 5 kills. Uh, in terms of damage, you can see how much more damage we did than the next person on our team. And... Borsig, although we did give him practically a thousand hit points there right at the end, um, obviously did quite a bit for the other team as well. And uh, we made, despite the fact this is not a premium tank, um, we made 30,000, so that's quite a nice profit for a non premium. And with the premium account and bonus for the day, it was just over 4,000. So I hope you've enjoyed that one. Um, quick little notification that I am going to be doing a giveaway this month it's likely to be either a tier 6 premium or 30 days of uh, premium time so stay tuned for that one and until next time Fubsy signing off